go for it. The savings just aren't worth it for me. Like to save only fifteen bucks a month. Okay. Yeah. So the, it's the savings. There's just not enough. Is that is that what it is? Sprinkle all, to, you know, do all this just for you know, a few bucks. That's it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more. Well, oh no, I totally understand. I, I I get that. And Sabrina, you did say that you just moved in a year ago. You're going to be in this home for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not, okay. Maybe not forever, but. Yeah, but but for a while, right? Cool. So you said that, that fifteen bucks isn't isn't enough. Um, what I want you to focus on, Sabrina, isn't so much the the fifteen dollar savings. I know you've only been in this home a year. Where did you live before? Uh, just down the street, actually. Just down the street. Did you rent or did you own? Uh, own. You own? Oh, so so the home made, made some good money? Yeah, yeah. It was almost paid off. So cool. almost had the house paid off and then I upgraded. Awesome. So you sounds like you're really smart with your money. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, I you know I totally understand. Fifteen bucks a month's not gonna get you rich. Mm -hmm. But uh, how how long were you in that house before? Uh, about twelve years now. Twelve years. Okay. Um, what did your average power bill at that home come in at roundabout? Probably around 16, like 200, maybe 50. Cool. Cool. You sold it in 2019, so you must have moved in right around like 2007. Uh, so 12 years. Yeah. Yeah, 2007. Okay. <laughs> um, so when you moved in, you said it got to about an average of 200. When you moved in 2007, do you remember what your average bill was back then? I know it was a long time. Uh, yeah, it was probably lower. Yeah. Oh, for sure it was. Yeah, because you know the rates in rates in Nevada, and this is public knowledge. This this isn't coming from me. Uh, they increase about seven to eleven percent a year, the the power bill. So one thing I want you to you know, understand, and trust me, I understand. Fifteen bucks a month's not going to get you rich. That yeah. and very by you. My kids' family everybody's at the house now, so now it's just me. When before it was you know a whole house full. Yeah. So yeah. not as bad now. Yeah, no worries. Uh, you know, this program is not really um, determined on how many people are in the home. It, it's really just the power bill and what you're spending and what it's expected to be. So, like I said, I understand 15 bucks a month's not get rich, but um, you know, one thing I, I I studied finance in school. That's kind of my my thing. And um, for me, I'm not saying it's you, but I'm actually doing solar on my house that I'm building for more of that security just knowing what my, my bill is gonna be. Because you said when you moved into your home in 2007, uh, it was much less than when you moved out at 200 bucks. And moving into this home now, I'm assuming you did like a, you did a 30 year mortgage? Yeah. 30 year, yeah. So one thing that you, you gotta realize is that power bill is gonna come every month. And like I said, I know 15 bucks a month is not a lot of savings. But the fact of knowing that your bill is never going to increase with what's going on here in Nevada, the Raiders. I don't know if you've heard how many people are moving from California and how much building we're doing here in Nevada. We build out, so we've got to provide power lines. We've got basically got to provide power to all those homes. So one thing that you can take to the bank is that rates are going to increase. So as opposed to really focusing, Sabrina, on the monthly savings now, try to grasp the the mindset of locking in your your rate now. Picture this, okay? I know that my shirt says one solar and we're doing solar on your home and all that, but imagine if it just said Envy Energy, okay? And you sound like you've been a customer of Envy Energy for about 13 months. Mm -hmm. So if they came and knocked on your door and said, you know what, Sabrina, you're, you've been a value customer of ours for 13 years. Uh, it looks like you're paying an average of 200 now. Just sign right here. I'm going to lock you in at 185 for the next 25 he, years. He just sign here. Would, would you do that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah right. So again, that's what I try to have people understand. I know you're not super giddy and pumped about 15 bucks a month savings, but understand that you're not putting any money out of your pocket at all if you were to qualify. And we're going to be able to lock in your bill to where it's the same every month. So those 15 month, those $15 savings now in 10 years is going to be up around 100 to 200 a month savings with what's going on here because. This is a very growing community. And NV Energy was even talking about moving towards a tier structure where the more power you use, the more that you pay. So the last thing I would want you to do is really focus just on the month-to-month -month savings. 
and not go through with the program and lock in your rate and five years from now when those incentives go away solar is going to be more expensive and next thing you know your envy energy bill is 300 bucks and you're actually saving 115 dollars a month does that make sense mm -hmm. cool yeah. so yeah like i said uh, and one thing i can do for you um, is click your solar bills 185 just to put a little emphasis on on the savings I really, I'm really someone that wants to take care of my customers and help them out. I'll go ahead and bring you a check if you do get qualified for your first six months of solar payments. Because it sounds like to you the savings is the thing. So if you were able to see $185 a month savings for the first six months, is that something that you get excited about? Well, yeah, then I'll say okay. Awesome. Cool. Well, I don't want you to get too excited <laughs> just yet. We do actually have to see if we can go ahead and get you qualified. It's a quick application. Um, so I'm going to pull that up and get that going.